Hi again. I'm uh, continuing a sonnet a day inspired by Patrick Stewart's reading of a Shakespearean sonnet a day. And this is a gospel sonnet uh, by Ralph Erskine. I'm continuing in chapter one. This is section three, man's le legal disposition. I hope you enjoy. But after all, the bride so malcontent, no argument save power is prevalent to bow her will and gain her heart's consent. The glorious prince's suit she disapproves, the law her old primordial husband loves, hopeful in its embraces life to have, though dead and buried in her suitor's grave, unable to give life as once before, unfit to be a husband any more. Yet proudly she the new address disdains, and all the blessed Redeemer's love and pains. Though now his head, that cruel thorns did wound, is with immortal glory circle round, archangels at his awful footstool bow, and drawing love sits smiling on his brow, though down he sends in gospel tidings good, epistles of his love signed with his blood. Yet lordly, she the royal suit rejects, eternal life by legal works effects. In vain the living seeks among the dead, whose quickening comforts in a killing head, her dead and buried husband has her heart, which can nor death remove nor life impart. Thus all revolting Adam's blinded race, in their first spouse their hope and comfort place. They natively expect, if guilt them press, salvation by a homebred righteousness. They look for favor in Jehovah's eye by careful doing all that in them lies. Tis still their primary attempt to draw their life and comfort from the, the, the veteran law. They fly not to the hope the gospel gives, to trust a promise bear their mind aggrieves, which judge the man that does, the man that lives. As native as they draw their vital breath, their fond recourse is to the legal path. Why, says old nature in law-wedded man, won't heaven be pleased if I can, if I do all I can? If I conform my walk to nature's light, and strive intent to practice what is right, thus won't I by the God of heaven be blessed, and win his favor if I do my best. Good God, he cries, when pressed with debt and thrall, have patience with me, and I'll pay thee all. Upon their all, their best, they're fondly mad. Though yet their all is not, their best is bad. Proud man, his can-dos mightily exalts. Yet all his brightest works are but splendid faults. A sinner may have shows of good, but still the best he can, even at his best, is ill. Can heaven or divine favor ever be win by those that are a mass of hell and sin? The righteous law does numerous woes denounce against the wretched souls that fails but once. What heaps of curses on their head it rears that have amassed the guilt of numerous years. And that's the end for now. I'll see you next time. Have a great night.